Luca Quinn just happened to come to the studio today with his mother, Lucinda Quinn, who is one of our food editors here. So Luca is going to help me make a cream-filled chocolate cookie. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. It's good? Would you make it at home if you yeah. get the recipe? Yeah. Yeah? Well, we're going to make the cookies now. And there is one and a quarter cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of unsweetened, what do you think that is? Cocoa. Yeah, unsweetened. You don't want to eat that by itself because it's... Oh, sort of, look at it. Look, isn't it pretty? That's cocoa. One teaspoon of baking soda. Very important to this recipe. It'll help keep the cookie crispy. And one <coughs> quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. This will help the cookie rise a little bit, but not too much. And a little bit of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So now, Luca, take your rubber scraper, this one's good if you want, and push that through the strainer. And I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar in this mixer. And the butter's been sitting out so it's nice and soft, 10 tablespoons of butter. And one and a half cups of sugar. You have to shake the rest of that into the bowl. So cream this until it's light and fluffy, about two minutes. I don't see an egg. Do you see an egg anywhere? Over oh, there. Oh, did you get me an egg? We only need one egg. Oh, you picked a blue one. Thank you. So as soon as this gets light and fluffy, we'll add an egg. So these look like rolled cookies, but they're not rolled. You make a little ball yeah. and you flatten it with a glass that's mm. dipped in sugar. Okay, so this looks good. And now we're gonna add one egg. We'll beat that up until it's fluffy. Uh, are you trying to make like dough or something? Cream filling, right? Oh no, this isn't the cream filling yet. We're gonna make that next. So what we're doing here is just making the batter. Yeah. I need a rubber scraper, please. Oh, I'll use this one that you were using. Never mind, I'll use this one. I'm gonna scrape down the bowl once because you wanna get it all completely incorporated, all the ingredients mixed evenly, right? Yeah. So you want everything mixed up very well. Do you have a mixture like this at home? Yeah, I have one like that, except it's like white. And white, yeah. Kind of old. Old fashioned, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But do you know that your mother and I knew each other many, many years ago when she was a student in Westport, Connecticut? You did? Yeah. She used to work at a restaurant that was on the river here in Westport called Bon Appetit. Oh. And I used to go there and eat. Oh, that's Isn't that cool. funny? Yeah. And so we've known each other for many, many years. Okay, now we can add our dry ingredients very slowly, and we don't want them to fly out of the bowl. Do you like living in the city? Yeah, when I was at Gloucester, I wanted to be there for a really long time. Where's Gloucester? That's just my summer house. I just didn't want to go back because when yes. I come back, everything's like new at New York. And right. And it's like, I didn't want to go back for a long time. Um, at the end, I was homesick. And you were? Yeah. Who's up there in Gloucester? Oh, my grandmother. Oh, is she fun? Yeah. So who makes the cookies when you're on vacation? You buy cookies? Yeah, we just buy them. We have a cookie book coming out at Christmas. Mm -hmm. And all my favorite recipes are in this cookie book. It's really like a special issue of the magazine. Yeah. And you take that with you next summer and say, Grandma, we're going to bake cookies every other day. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a quarter ounce ice cream scoop, which makes a perfect size cookie. Here, you want to taste the dough? What do you think? Oh, man, that's good. It's good, isn't it? You like it better cooked or uncooked? Uncooked. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Okay, so now this is the fun part. You can do this. So you just take the glass. You had a sugar on the bottom? Yeah. And just press it very flat and even, not too big, just so it's about the same size. Yeah, perfect. Now back in the sugar. You do all of those. And I'll make the filling, okay? So the filling is made with shortening. And this keeps the filling really soft and creamy. It's a quarter Large. of a cup. No, not lard. No, there's a difference between vegetable shortening and lard. Lard is made out of animal fat, and shortening is made out of vegetable fat. One quarter cup of unsalted butter, and we're going to also add to this uh, confectioner's sugar. One and three quarters of a cup, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One, two. And you just mix this up with a flat beater on your 
Same KitchenAid. How you doing? One more. Very good flattener. Well, you should be good in the kitchen with four boys in the house. Your mother probably has to cook a lot. What's the favorite thing that she makes for you to eat? Uh, my mom makes very good pasta. So now this is getting nice and creamy. Keep mixing this until it just turns like soft, white, fluffy filling for these lovely cookies. Oh, I'll get these in the oven. We have some already baked. And so now you put the cookies in at 350, 375, bake them for about nine minutes and turn the pan halfway between baking, okay, into the baking so that they get evenly cooked. Okay, so this is nice and creamy. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, now this is very easy to do. I'm going to let you do this because what you do is put all of this filling into a pastry bag. Take a little tiny taste. Is that tiny? Oh my God. Good? Yeah. Okay. So now I'll bring a tray of cookies over here for you. These have been cooled. Yeah. And we fill this with the filling. Yeah. This is a pastry bag. And it has no tip on it, just an adapter, because that's just about the right size hole. Yeah, because you like Yeah. It's, it has to be big. You can use a little tip, and it'll take you a long time to do. This will enable you to do it without taking any time whatsoever. So here we go. Would you turn over all of these and all of these? Just turn them over, because this is the top and that's the bottom. Oh. See? So we're just going to put a little dab on each one. And then you put the top on and gently sandwich it. Okay, here you go. Always squeeze from the top and hold the point, hold the point with this hand with your two fingers. Okay. Put about that much on. Squeeze. Okay, now lift up. See it comes off? Try to do it in the center of the cookie. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Okay, so we have enough left over for the batch that's in the oven. You want to cover them over? Yeah. Thank you very much, Luca, for coming to the studio today. You're welcome. An unexpected pleasure. Chocolate wafers and vanilla cream filling. What a great combination. It's our cookie of the week. You're going to teach Grandma how to make it? Yeah. Good.